TJ Hawkinson, who was tight end two last season, 86 receptions, 129 targets, 914 yards, six touchdowns, an average of 7.6 targets per game. Thoughts on TJ Hawkinson? So Hawkinson was hyper-targeted um, towards the back end of the season once he went to Minnesota. And as he was hyper-targeted, you saw Adam Thielen's drop down, right? Like yep. Thielen just was not dynamic enough to get open in that offense. Um, that being said, I think some of his targets are going to end up going to um, going to Addison. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of a regression to tight end four or five, but then that falls a little bit closer in line to where he's being drafted, right? Like he's coming off the board at tight end three right now, um, four, depending on your league format and what you're doing. Um, and I think that's an okay landing spot, right? Like there's going to be some weeks that are just duds, but I do think that you're going to see probably some more consistency out of TJ Hawkinson than what you saw in Detroit, um, just due to the nature of this Vikings offense. So um, good blocker, hell of a pass catcher. He's going to be able to help suck up some of that underneath stuff and allow Jefferson and Addison to stay out wide outside the numbers and compete one-on-one. Um, it's going to come down to, touchdown dependency is he able to fall into the end zone seven or more times that's a big number for a tight end but given the rate at which the vikings are passing with i think you could see him fall in there like i said six seven maybe eight times like you could see a big touchdown season out of tj hawkinson to make up for the lack of targets compared to last year what i especially like uh about you know, his situation now is that Kirk Cousins is kind of that path of least resistance passer. Uh, so like he, he will, Kirk Cousins will take those shots. Right. But he will also uh, find the open man and take, take the easy play, take the open play. Um, and a lot of times if teams are, you know, worried about Justin Jefferson or worried about whoever else is going to be outside there, then that does open up a few things inside and Kirk Cousins, a very smart, quarterback will find um will find that open man and that's usually going to be that tight end position so uh we did see you know his efficiency when he got traded to minnesota and how you know if you were to stat that out kind of throughout the course of a season it, i mean he still finished tight end two um which is great um but i think that's what you have to you kind of have to temper that and and uh derek if you have it pulled up, please tell me uh, his ADP at the moment. 47 overall, third overall. tight end. Yep. Yeah. Fourth so, uh, that's, that's, that's about right. I think, I think in terms of, you know, that, that second run of tight ends. And I say that second run of tight ends, really it's the first run of tight ends after Travis Kelsey goes in the first round. Um, that's, that's, that's about the value that you're going to get. Um, I mean, I think he'll return some of it, but he's going where he should be going. Yeah, again, right? We, we talked a lot about kind of razor-thin margins on this one. Um, the tight end position outside of Travis Kelsey is is one that I'm going to kick that can down the road and take the late-round tight end type of deal. Because in, in the fourth round, I'd rather go and get my uh, second wide receiver, my second uh, running back, um, I'd rather be building out some of these guys that are going to probably be a little bit more consistent on that and guys that have the potential to, you know, be a bigger, bigger part of the offense on that one. Not the guy that's going to anyway. Um, so fourth round's a little bit rich for me on that one. And, and like we've said all off season, it's Travis Kelsey or bust, right? So you're either drafting Travis Kelsey up high or you're going to just wait on the tight end position and wait until you get down there in the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th round type of thing to, to do that. And that's where I kind of see this one playing out there. Uh, just because again, right? Like you've got some positional difference making that kind of stuff. It's not enough of a separator on what I, what else I'm going to miss out on there. So,